Hey guys and welcome to this new tutorial I made for the Pokemon Logic in real life video. And I've gotten a lot of questions about it. one simple effect that was in the video, so let's take a look at it. So now the main reason people have been asking about this clip is not because of the little animation in the beginning and the little fancy cut thing that happens. It's when Taylor, aka Astic, walks in front of the tree that is not there. So because this isn't really a big, exciting, flashy visual effect, it sometimes goes unnoticed, but it actually is pretty complicated to do if you really think about it. Normally to create this kind of effect like this you would use a green screen but when we were out recording this we didn't have a green screen and we actually didn't have this this shot planned out exactly how it was I just decided to test it out and see if it worked and hope and luckily it actually came out really well I was really happy with it it's not the standard way of doing it it actually is pretty unorthodox once I'll show you once I go over it but it actually and as long as it turns out well, it doesn't matter really how you get there, as long as the final picture is good. It was used by taking two clips. The first clip was the actual clip of Taylor walking in front of the tree. And as you notice here, the tree is still there. It is actually there. And then the next clip that we took was a clip of the tree by itself, no people around and just and what we did was we took a freeze frame of that so basically what happens here is Taylor is going to walk in front of the tree but the tree is not going to be there so how this happens is we need to what we call rotoscope Taylor while he walks in front of the screen and rotoscoping is one of the most difficult and it's one of the most frustrating effects and all of After Effects but is also one of the most useful and most effective and if you and if you're able to pull it off right it looks great in your videos. But before we rotoscope him we actually have to make this tree disappear somehow. The way I did this is kind of my own little method here. Um, what I did was I went into the freeze frame here, used the cloning tool and what the cloning tool does is you select a region on your clip it records all the pixels in that region and then you click another region to the next of it and it'll paste those pixels that recorded onto the spot that you chose and if that sounded a little confusing there I'm going to demonstrate it here I'm gonna click on the ground here holding down option tell it to record I'm gonna hit next to it and now once I hit that you see the pixels that were there that it recorded have replaced where the tree was so it's like I'm re erasing the tree but erasing it with other pixels in the clip here so basically what I did was I went around all around this tree and found pixels next to it to try to get rid of all the branches in the trunk he trunk here but still make it look like a believable scene and now if you go close up into the final product here you'll see that it's not really a perfect um cloning job here there's a lot of you know there's not a really perfect cloning job here but as long as it looks believable to the size of which your video is going to be shown like youtube size according to this one as long as it looks believable there it's good it'll work so again, if you're going out to shoot like a feature film or something like that, you're definitely not going to use this type of method. Definitely use something more legitimate, but if you're looking for kind of a quick effect like this, you don't want to go through too much effort, or if you don't really have the supplies on you, um, this is definitely sort of a way you can work around that type of thing. It can be applied to a lot of different um, instances, like in the Pony Apocalypse video, I use the clone tool a lot to edit these pictures. Now onto the rotoscoping part. I'm not gonna go into depth of every step I took to rotoscope Taylor as he walked across this tree. If you wanna look at a detailed rotoscoping tutorial, I would search one on YouTube if you want to, but I'm gonna basically go over kinda what you do to make this effect work. So I'm gonna have to have the clip of Taylor walking on top of the, the um, one that I just edited with the clone tool. And what I'll have to do 
is I'll have to rotoscope every step that he takes from his standing part with the CD, the Harry Potter CD, if you guys noticed, and every step that he takes across this dirt patch and across the tree. So let's go to a frame here where Taylor's walking in front of the tree and we see with the roto brush I was able to paint around Taylor here and they latched on to the pixels that are at the edge of his body and what they do is after I go over time they recognize those pixels and they try to cling to them as much as possible throughout the rest of the frame and what you do in rotoscoping is you basically go through your frame and see where the roto brush has made mistakes like if it goes off your subject or not and then you fix them and now when we go to the original composition here we see that it looks like Taylor is walking across an empty dirt patch here and basically if you didn't understand what was going on what happens is when you roto brush it it's basically like cropping or masking but what it does is it crops out everything except for the subject that you wrote a brush over time. So what it did is it cropped everything in the first clip except for Taylor. Very similar to how chroma keying works where you key out an entire green screen and left with just your subject. The one bad thing about rotoscoping is it slows up your system a lot and it takes a very long time because of that and this took me like a couple hours actually to do by itself just to few second clip so but definitely go for rotoscoping if you can make it work it definitely makes your project look a lot better no matter what it is I used rotoscoping in a couple other videos and it's worked out pretty well and so there you have it that is the tree effect from Pokemon in real life if you have any other questions about any effects in this video or any of my other videos feel free to ask me at ckproductions1000 at gmail.com or you can go on our Facebook or Twitter page if you want to. And if you haven't noticed before, we have opened up our new second channel. You are on it right now, actually. Um, it's for behind the scenes tutorials and other stuff like that. Look forward to a lot more stuff in the future. We have some cool stuff planned for that. And also on our regular channel, our main channel. Like the month of January, we are releasing a video every single Friday. As opposed to our regular every other Friday. And I have one more announcement before I go here. Pokemon Logic in Real Life 2 is in pre-production right now. So look forward to that coming soon. Thanks for being awesome, guys.